Hi guys, I have been getting a lot of questions about how I do my ticketing critiques. So I thought I would just show a quick little video to show you the ins and outs about how I do it and maybe explain a few things as well. When students enter my room, they see the Talk About a Tuesday uh, indicated on the board. They come over and to this little table and they collect a ticket in for the day. Usually just one bin is out with the appropriate ticket that they need to take. Um, this year I'm actually doing a Talk About It Tuesday and I think it through Thursday. This has two of the questions. The description and analysis is on Talk About It Tuesday and then the other one has interpretation and reaction and that is on my Thursdays. In past years, I have done this every single day without differentiating the day. But this year, because we're just trying to get back to being a normal school and a normal classroom, I thought I would ease them into it. When students arrive to the classroom, they see the image that we're doing for the day up on the board. Next to that are a variety of posters that indicate different principles and elements, along with a few visual clues to help them understand what those things mean. And at the bins at their tables, they're going to find a copy of that image as well, along with the name of the artist and the title, so they can study it a little bit closer, especially if they're in a seat that is further away from the board. First, they are asked to describe the artwork for the first set of questions and analyze it. Um, describing, we talk a lot about it being facts, not opinions, so staying away from those opinion type of language, um, like I like or ugly, pretty, things like that, but just really give just the facts. And then analysis, we are talking about if they can find one element and one principle that they can identify in the artwork. We also discuss how there's many, many, many usually, but I'm asking for one specific one and exactly where they see it or how they see it being used. If students are doing these sets of questions, they're going to be answering the questions about interpretation, interpreting the artwork, and reacting to it. Um, when we do interpretations, I usually try to pick images that I think are going to be easier for students to identify an interpretation from. Um, I also sometimes will give them a little backstory about the artist or about something that happened, which can also aid them in their interpretation. When it comes to reacting to the artwork, I tell them they have free reign to say anything they want, but they always need to support their answer. They can't just say, I don't like it. They need to give me a reason why, and they need to use the principles and elements to support that. So for example, don't just tell me it's ugly. Why is it ugly? Are the colors really ugly colors? Do you really not like the shapes of the figures because they look funny or weird? Try to give me a good reason about why you feel the way you feel. Furthermore, you'll notice I also list the principles and elements at the bottom of the sheet to further help them um, identify which one they are going to pick out. We also spend a little time talking about this as a group in class. So usually while they are filling out their um, sheets, I am describing what the artwork is, what they're actually looking at. And then I also um, sometimes go through a little call and response, ask them what kinds of things they see. This is usually just a couple minutes long at most. When they're done, they're going to take their finished paper and they're going to go to my ticket in drop off bin, find their appropriate class period folder, and they are going to slip it in there for me to grade at a later date. After that, students get right back to work. Um, by then, I usually have their attention. They have been seated. They've been writing. They've been thinking. They've been interacting and talking for just a couple minutes. And I love doing this. I feel like it's a great way to expose them to lots of different types of art in a really short period of time. And a lot of times, I will tell students, you know, if you like what you're seeing, jot down the name of the artist because it's right in front of them at their seat anyway, and I tell them to check them out later. Um, if they seem extremely interested as a group, and I think I have the time to do it, sometimes I will actually um, spend another minute or two just pulling up a few pieces of artwork of that artist, or maybe a website or anything like that, or even a video clip if it's appropriate. Well, I hope this was helpful for you guys and um, hopefully some of you can use it maybe for your own classroom or adapt it to work for you. Um, even if it's not every day, like, I, like I'm doing this year where it's every other day, it's a great way to incorporate some art history without taking too, too much time and still giving us time to do our work in class. Um, additionally, keep in mind that there is a learning curve. The first 
few times at least you do this. Um, it is going to take more dedicated time to talk them through it and work through it. But honestly, once they get the rhythm of it, it takes them five minutes or less every time they do it to get it done, including our discussions and all of that. Um, have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.